Nissans are deployed into DC and other cities, they would gradually make the car obsolete. But that wouldn't necessarily spell the end of car companies. Manufacturers already see the writing on the wall, and they're spending billions to develop the smart technologies that pods will require. But we don't realize it a lot of times, but a lot of the cars are already taking over some of the functions that we think they were controlling ourselves. This experimental car uses an array of radar, sonar, and video cameras to sense and avoid disaster. And it can even overrule the driver to avoid a collision. A lot of times there are gonna be blind spots that you can't see in your mirrors, and nor when you turn to look uh, when you're changing lanes. The side collision prevention system will first warn you as you're moving over into the lane. If you don't heed that warning, what happens is the stability control system then applies the brakes on the opposite side and then moves you back into the lane. Like the pods of the future, these experimental cars can also communicate with the road. What we have is a roadside unit that's actually in the intersection that's talking and sending signals out to the vehicle. And as the vehicle approaches the intersection, there's that communication of, is the signal turning to a red light? Prepare to stop. And if it is, it actually can bring the vehicle to a stop when the signal turns red. But these modest systems all share a fundamental weakness, the driver. Something like greater than 90% of accidents are due to human error. And so they are kind of the variable in the equation. If we can bring technology like autonomous vehicles, then we can remove that source of error and save an awful lot of lives and money and you know, do an awful lot of good. The final and perhaps toughest obstacle for the pods to overcome will be wresting the wheel out of human hands.